Heck yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dad's been trying to get a popper fish the whole time we've been here. He's missed one or two, I think, but he finally hooked up on one. Over there screaming and yelling. Good for him. Good for him. I'm not getting a very good hook set. I'm feeling them, but I'm just like going, eh. I need to, I need to really get a good one. Just something to do with the kayak, I guess. Maybe that, maybe the my angle on that one, I'm not sure. I think I got a good one on that one. Tiny bugger. The luck I've had the last uh, couple times that I've actually been fishing. I'll take anything. I was going to release him nicely, but uh, he flopped. Whoa. <laughs> he was tiny. So far, I've uh, all the tiny, tiny fish, I haven't landed, well, except for that one. But all the better ones, I've actually caught, so might have something to do with also that uh, the little ones aren't quite getting the whole bait in their mouth, so I'm not really getting a hook in them very, either very good or at all. But the big ones, they're, they're getting it in there, and I'm getting a good hook set. So that, that could be some of it, but eh, it's alright, I don't want to catch every tiny fish. Because while any fish is a good fish, and when you're not necessarily catching fish, and it's it's uh, midsummer, the bite gets kind of hard. Every fish is welcome. As of this year or so, catching a couple nice-sized fish, I ain't gonna say giant by any means, but it's kind of turned me into a uh, more of a big fish guy. I would rather come out and fish all day with some decent-sized lures, some bigger lures. You're still going to catch a few small fish every once in a while, but you're mainly looking for that big bite. And that just, it's kind of what I've, uh, it's kind of what I've grown to like, that big fish. I mean, everybody loves to catch a big fish, but not everybody fishes for big fish. Sometimes they just get lucky and get one. But I'm, I'm really starting to invest in some quality lures, some bigger lures. And I'm, I'm really trying to go after that fish of a lifetime. better fish than what we caught a minute ago. Decided to try flipping. Seems to work out pretty nice. Taste is good straight. I stole dad's fish. It's a nice one too. Better one. I'm stuck on my sail. There we go, I got it. 
Uh. I'll tell you one of the keys to kayak fishing, and that is line management. Figuring out how much line you need to get the fish in, but not have too little, not have too much. Fish are just not wanting to release very gracefully today. I'll tell you, I like these 8 1 to 1 ratios. Yeah. You have to really, you have to kind of think about it because. You, if you don't think about it, you'll be reeling it way too fast. See, so you, you feel like you're barely reeling, but you, in reality, you're reeling the right speed. But when you want to get it back and you freaking just burn it, it comes back quick. There he is. Came back for it. Huh? I need to get me a little net. I think that's the best one of the day right there. Oh, and he released good. How about that? Finally, another fish. I had to decide to go kind of slow in order to get him. This right here is a perfect example of why I wanted to come out early. I was catching them on just about everything I was throwing two hours ago. I can't even catch them on a worm. <laughs> 